Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested and I'm here at CS 2017. A lot of VR accessories being shown, uh, including Ozic. Now, uh, we saw Ozic launch a successful Kickstarter, right? Early this year, you guys, last year I guess now. Yep, huge yep, successful. April la last year, yep. Huge Tell success. me about the headphones, why were people excited and why are you guys excited about it? Yeah, so our headphones, um, so Ozic is really focusing on uh, the VR um, audio technology. And so our first product is the Ossic X headphone, which is what was uh, debuted on uh, Kickstarter last April. Um, yeah, it was a really successful Kickstarter. It was the number one VR campaign in Kickstarter's history, so not bad. Um, and um, really what the product is intended to do is really uh, replicate or um, kind of the sound stage of, uh, of kind of VR audio. So the big three VR headsets, Rift, uh, Vive, and PSVR, they all have different audio solutions. Uh, some have earbuds that come built in, um, and there's also like the Rift that has earphones already built in. Uh, you get positional audio in the software already with those stereo headphones. You know, one driver in each ear. What's different about Ozic that would make a user want to use that over the built-in headphones? Right. Well, there's um, a, a couple things. I mean, so we've got a really powerful DSP uh, that runs on the, the headphone that's um, that's processing real-time al algorithms. So it's doing an adaptive um, processing that is customizing the listening experience for, um, for the user. Uh, we've got multiple drivers in each earphone, or in each, in each ear cup. I mean, based on the algorithm, algorithms, it's distributing sound across those multiple drivers, allowing you to have a really spatialized listening experience. So it's uh, giving you um, uh, kind of depth, it also gives you height, with you, which you do not get in uh, the common stereo headphones. And then are there also sensors on the headphones? What other information are you giving your software and your algorithms to give you some positional audio? Yeah, so we're um, we're taking the head-related transfer function, which is, which is so everybody, is, you know, based on their their head size and their ear geometry, lists hears differently, and so. The, the Osaka headphones actually takes that into account. Um, it gets you, uh, we've got multiple sensors in the ear cups that are giving real-time data back to the, the DSP. So if I put on the headset, uh, the headphones, it's going to know, for example, like what, like the distance between my ears uh, and, uh, and what else? Yeah, so it, it's telling you distance between the ear, your ears. It's also giving you um, relative uh, positioning. And so there's a, there's a feature you can turn on and off that, that allows you to track um, uh, positional data or rotational data. And so if, you, if you're listening to, let's say, music um, it, that's spatialized and there's uh, drums in front of you, you can actually turn around and then the drums wind up being behind you. A lot of music isn't spatialized though. You know, like the tracks I download off iTunes, stereo tracks. So do you get any type of simulated positional tracking or even rotational tracking with these headphones with that? Yes, yes. so there is simulated uh, positional um, tracking that uh, is proprietary software that uh, is running on the headphone. It also is able to run on a, on a PC uh, as well. And are you developing your own software experiences to best showcase this or is this going to work with any game? Yeah, so we have, um, yeah, so we, we're partnering, partnering with several um, kind of middleware uh, software companies to, de to uh, deliver um, uh, kind of audio engines uh, for, for games. But even if uh, with uh, stereo content, the, the software that's, that's constantly running and providing spatialized audio is really uh, fantastic. Awesome, well I'd love to get a demo. Uh, thanks for the yeah. info and I'm gonna jump into a demo. Thanks okay. David. Yeah. All right, so that was a really interesting demo. And I'll be honest, when I saw I was going to meet with Ozic, uh, I was kind of skeptical because I've been pretty happy with the built-in uh, software positional audio solutions with the, the Oculus Rift and even with the HTC Vive. When I'm wearing a Rift or a Vive and I have stereo headphones in, I still get positional audio because the headset is tracking my position in the virtual space. So what Ozic brings to the VR experience is just a better sound experience because they have more drivers in each ear. And they also, when running the audio through their software onto the headphones, they also know the distance between your ears, so it's supposed to be better calibrated for each user. And given their, the little bit short period of time I had with their demo, it sounded pretty good, but definitely we didn't have a chance to do an A-B test. Now, the place where Ozzy can be really interesting is when you're putting in music and you're not in a VR experience. So I ran through a headphone demo where we played a 5.1 track, 
uh, Pink Floyd, where it was recorded in 5.1, and switching between stereo and a 5.1 setting, it definitely changes the way you listen to the music. 5.1 sounds really, it's great. I think when you listen to stereo music, even with a really great pair of headphones, your brain is naturally trained to pick out the instruments and the vocals as if they're right on your ears. And when you listen to a 5.1 track, you can really feel like you're in a space that the music designer designed for you to listen and with the instruments and the vocals in and around your space, which is a very different experience, and it sounded really good here. Trying their stereo up sample to positional audio was also interesting, and I'm not sure I'm completely sold on that either. They played a, a stereo track which you play off you know, iTunes or Winamp on your computer, it runs through their software and then over USB to the headphones, and then they can simulate having your sound basically played with two speakers in front of you. So it's like while you're sitting in front of your computer with headphones on, you have instead two nice speakers in front of you or all around you. And I'm not sure I really need to listen to music that way. Um, it's something that needs to be tested because I really enjoy listening to music in headphones and I've trained my brain to listen to music and enjoy music with that stereo experience. So we'll have to wait and see how Ozic changes music listening and also VR. So can't wait for them to come out. They said they're shipping to their backers next summer. They'll have a developer kit uh, in the spring, so maybe around GDC time, and we'll be keeping an eye on that hardware. And we'll have more from CES 2017 on Tested, so we'll see you next time.